Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us at our virtual community science workshop. My name is Mr. G, and today we're going to be building an Extendo Matic. Keep in mind, Ms. Shaver is the one building the project in this video. Usually, we think of levers increasing force, like with the catapult, but they could also increase distance. There are three different types of levers, each able to do a different job. Class one levers like seesaws have their pivot point or fulcrum between the object to be moved and the effort. In a class two lever, the load is between the fulcrum and the effort, like a wheelbarrow. With class three levers, the effort is between the fulcrum and the load, for example, tweezers. Many levers working together can multiply the effect of any single one of them. Okay. Let's go ahead and start with the materials needed in order to build this project. First thing you're gonna need are craft sticks, push pins, and glue stick pieces. And for decoration, you're gonna need glue dots, pom poms, googly eyes, foam shapes, construction paper, and pipe cleaners. We'll start the build by forming an X using two craft sticks by laying one on top of the other. Push a push pin through the pre-drilled hole at the midpoint of the two craft sticks to connect them, and then cover the sharp end of each push pin with a glue stick piece. Repeat this four times to create a total of five X's. Next, place all X's in a line with the top leg of each X crossed over the bottom leg of the next X in the line. Push a push pin through the hole at the end point of each top leg and the end point of the craft stick underneath. Cover the sharp ends of the push pins with a glue stick piece.
The last step is to decorate the end of the extendo matic with the pom poms, googly eyes, foam shapes, construction paper, and pipe cleaners. Use glue dots to attach them. And lastly, open and close the handles to see the extendo matic in action. The extendo matic uses multiple levers. Levers are classified by the positions of their fulcrum, effort, and load, or resistance. Class 1 levers have their fulcrum between the load and the effort, like a seesaw. In a class 2 lever, the load is between the fulcrum and the effort, like a wheelbarrow. With class 3 levers, the effort is between the fulcrum and the load, like tweezers. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about safety. Make sure that you do not use the extendo matic to hit people, animals, or property. Okay, boys and girls, now I have a couple questions for you to think about as you experiment with your extendo matic. Question one, what would happen if the craft sticks you used for this project were twice as long? Brooms and seesaws are examples of levers. Can you think of a few more levers that you use every day? Comment below with your thoughts and ideas and remember to like this video and subscribe to our CSW network for new virtual STEM lab projects. You can also visit our website at cswnetwork.org for free access to our project library. This is Mr. G. Until next time, we'll see you in the next project.